Hey, soul family, what's going on? This is the Phoenix Cloud Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Isa. I am your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash tarot reader, and I'm doing the darn thing today for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher. This is going to be your general love reading for the week. We're doing a quick check-in. I like to call it the love quickie because it really is a quick check-in regarding your love life um, and the person that you're involved with right now, okay, romantically. So we're going to look at your energy, their energy, the mutual energy between the two of you, things that you don't see coming, surprises, secrets, things you might need to know, okay. Okay. Um, and any other messages. If none of this resonates here in your sun sign, check your moon rising Venus. And if those don't uh, spark your interest or vibe for you, then definitely check the older readings. Last but not least, guys, if any of this resonates for you at all, show your girl some love by smashing the love button, commenting down below and subscribing. Okay, so let's get going, Virgo. Okay, I'm giving it a good punch. I had to do it twice. And somehow i deleted accidentally deleted your first video from my phone which is insane it was a good reading too so i kind of hope whatever it was comes back it happens it's so weird all right so i'm gonna put you here them here feel free to swap reverse you know what your situation is okay so you six of wands the moon and the two of cups Ooh, interesting let's talk about them and their energy thoughts feelings for you judgment the tower and the nine of swords there's a lot of stress going on here the mutual energy three of swords five of swords ten of wands and what don't they see coming please high priestess with the eight of wands that is so bizarre i swear those two cards are in the Taurus reading. So if you have a Taurus placement, definitely check that reading out. That might have something to do with you. Okay, so Ace of Cups at the bottom. This, for some of you, this may be a new love or this, I'm seeing a tower here. So there's either a revelation, some sort of breakup, something going on here. Um, there could be a new love for some of you, but let's go ahead and talk about this, okay? So what you're thinking and feeling, feeling really good. Uh, Six of Wands, this is, you know, out here looking good. A lot of people clamoring for your attention. You're getting a lot of attention, but something's going on here. There's either a fear or there's something hidden, okay, with the moon. And then we have the Two of Cups. So definitely in some type of connection here with somebody. I feel like you're feeling really good. Um, deep down, you feel like, wow, I'm a winner. I got the prize. Okay. Um, and that's what I'm feeling right now. We're going to clarify. Excuse me. This person has judgment, the Tower, and the Nine of Swords. This person is really stressed out about possibly finding out some information. With judgment, there could be some sort of wrong judgment call, or this person may be thinking about things in the wrong way when it comes to you. We'll see. But I feel like it's quite possible that this relationship is in like a, uh, like a second chance. Okay, um, there may be some some healing or something needed between the two of you. I'm kind of excited to try to clarify this. The mutual energy, there's three of swords, heartbreak, five of swords, ten of wands. This just doesn't look good in the mutual energy. So I'm really interested in seeing what this is all about. Okay, I don't know if it's telling me a story or if it's telling me something from the past or presently. This is showing me present. So we'll see. But uh, a lot of heaviness between the two of you. Um, with the Three of Swords, there's some sort of heartbreak or th maybe even third party. The third party doesn't necessarily have to be another person, although it could be. But it can represent something that's taking your attention away from each other. With the Five of Swords, this could be somebody, um, you know, really just sort of with their own agenda. Let's put it that way. I feel like that that might be it. Everybody, all parties involved here might have their own particular agenda. What you don't see coming, something that you don't see coming is unknown. We're going to find out what it is. It's a bit of a mystery, okay? Uh, but we do have some passionate messages coming through here, okay? A lot of passion, maybe some texting, maybe even traveling or moving around, all right? So let's start clarifying because this one's a little tricky. <laughs> a, 
a little tricky. I don't, oh, I just heard a weird noise. Sorry, guys. All right. Why do we have the moon here, please? Why do we have the moon here? Clarify the moon for Virgo's feelings. Clarify the moon for Virgo's feelings. Ooh, you guys might be hiding that you want to move on or you're moving on, okay? It's possible somebody is afraid to move on. Let's see. Can I have another card for this moon, please, with the Six of Swords? Clarify the moon. Okay. Um, somebody could have found out some information here with the Ace of Swords, all right? This is an honest conversation, a talk, a new um, revelation, clarity of thought. Okay, something's become clear here, and maybe somebody is moving on because there might have been something hidden, okay? Why do we have the Six of Wands, please? Clarify the Six of Wands for me. Ooh, King of Wands in reverse. Somebody could be very jealous, very upset here, a loss of power. Um, I feel more like this is jealousy, okay? So either you're very jealous that the, your person may be getting a lot of attention or um, they are very jealous of you, okay? Why else do we have this Six of Wands? Thank you. Nine of Wands in reverse. That's weird. There's a lot of reversals and the deck doesn't have any reverse. How did you get in here? What'd you guys open the door? Oh Lord, it's Cat City now. I guess I didn't have the door closed all the way. Okay. Um, somebody who has been through a, a lot is not trying to go through a lot. Okay. Uh, they're... <sighs> I feel like this is releasing old hurts. Someone may have some jealousy. F maybe they just have jealousy issues in general. And the fact that you're getting a lot of attention really bothers this person. Um, so I don't know. This is like a healing. I feel like there's partially a healing process involved here. Okay. Why do we have the two of cups? Two of cups is also healing as well. Loving the self giving oh wow okay so i want to say this i've never seen the two of cups this way but this feels like a goodbye right i i feel like there's a like you're communicating that you want to move forward but i almost feel like for some of you this is like a goodbye okay this is like a final goodbye which is really unusual for me, okay? Hey, hey. And maybe, you know, you might have been trying to hold on to this person. Maybe you had an honest talk with them, all right? Um, and let them know you really feel like you really love them very much or something like that. But I think there's been some information that's come out here uh, that is making you move on, okay? It's kind of like finding out the truth of a situation, all right? Um, it could be that somebody has not... Um, what do I want to say? I almost feel like there's somebody involved in this person's past that's come up recently. Okay. That might not be for, that might just be for one person. Why do we have judgment here for how Virgo's person is feeling about Virgo? Why do they feel judgment? Okay. This person's made up a decision. They've made a decision about something with the two of wands here. Uh, typically this has to do with your direction moving forward. Okay. Why else do they have judgment here? That's Sachi. If you guys don't know my cats, that one's Sachi. She's the troublemaker. She's a little baby. There's a message that's come forward here, okay? And I feel like it's from your person's past. Wow, the tower again. How weird is that? And this is something that has... It's information that could be shocking. It might have rocked this person's world. And I think they're making a decision to kind of move forward. Um, and I don't know that this is with you. Okay. I do have heavy fire energy here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I have um, heavy sword energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Why do we have the tower for this person? That was the star card, Aquarius. Why do we have the tower here? There's something about healing. Yeah, somebody could be very sick in this person's life. Okay, this person doesn't have... Uh, okay, so we have the moon and we have temperance in reverse. This person has either lost patience with you or there's something 
that they could have been hiding this. Okay, they could have been hiding that they've lost patience. They don't want to heal the connection, uh, something to that effect. But I feel like there's somebody could be sick in this person's life. Okay, and this might be something that they just found out. And for whatever reason, they're like, I can't commit to this particular connection right now because I'm dealing with this kind of thing. Okay, um, I do feel like for some of you, your person received a message from somebody else and I feel like they might have been hiding it um, because they didn't want to create any issues uh, and now it's out okay this person is not wanting to be in this particular connection with you this is so bizarre I've never had a reading like this why do we have the nine of swords because I'm getting so many messages Okay, Queen of Pentacles. Why else? Thank you. The Hierophant. Oh, shit. Are you in a relationship or are they in a relationship? Like I said, I feel like there's another person here. Like there's... Uh, like either somebody popped up or somebody was in some sort of connection. Okay? Because we have the Hierophant and we have the Queen of Pentacles. And we have somebody with the nine of swords. So somebody is really stressed the fuck out. Okay. I don't know how to put that. But uh, there's a secret out here. Why else is this moon here? That's what I want to know. What's this fear or this secret? Somebody's feelings have changed. Okay. Somebody's feelings have changed. Will of fortune in reverse. This person is afraid of moving forward okay so if you're in a connection with somebody who's already in a connection virgo this person is concerned they're concerned for the well-being the welfare of another person that they've been dealing with okay maybe that person's not mentally stable maybe that person's actually sick or something like that but there's somebody i feel from their past that they're connected to um and they're and like with the wheel of fortune it's a delay right but it's a delay for a reason it's a delay because they feel like there's a part of them that is still connected to that person basically i feel like this person is trying to finish out a cycle with somebody else okay why we have the ten of wands why we have the ten of wands is mutual energy because this shit's heavy yo why justice in reverse it's not fair the the connection is out of balance libra energy why do we have the five of swords why is the five of swords here somebody thinks about themselves a lot wow yeah two of cups mm. Mm, 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 mm. this love connection is just oh my god y'all some of these things that keep coming up i'm like what in the hell there's like manipulation here. There's other people involved. Like, I feel like one person's like, listen, if you're not going to leave this person, like we can't be together. And the other person's like, you don't understand. Like, what are you doing? Oh, Lord. And the other person's like, you don't understand. Like, I have history. Like, you know, I want to help this person. They're going through so much and it's just really selfish. I feel like one person's just really trying to like to get what they can. You know what I mean? Why do we have the three of swords? What are you doing, Sachi? Why do we have the three of swords here, please? Okay. Seven of cups in reverse. Why do we have the three of swords? Somebody is letting go. This is, it hurts, right? But somebody is letting go of the, the confusion, um, the multiple choices. Somebody doesn't, they want to make up their mind. I feel like somebody wants to make up their mind. They want to be in some sort of solid, committed relationship, but it's going to take hurting somebody. They just don't know who it is that they're going to hurt. Okay. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. This could be you. This could be them. Okay. It does feel like there is definitely some sort of soulmate connection. Um, I feel like one of you might feel it more than the other person, but there, I just feel this sort of like 
manipulative energy around it too, okay? Why do we have the Eight of Wands as what they don't see coming? The Five of Wands. Why do we have the High Priestess as what they don't see coming? Queen of Wands. Oh, shit. Yeah. Queen of Wands can be, in some cases, with the High Priestess here as being like a mystery or a secret, the Queen of Wands is somebody has got somebody else. That's what I definitely feel here because the Queen of Wands can show up as a mistress, okay? So somebody, you may be finding out here that somebody has somebody, um, part of the reason why they may have acted so jealous toward you, um, why they argued with you a lot, you may, in the future, you guys might argue about this, okay? Maybe you don't know yet. It might be that somebody is kind of let you know like they want to move on, but you you don't really know the reason why, so you're cutting off the connection, okay? Um, I'm going to tell you if you don't know the reason why, it's because I think your person is connected to somebody else, okay? Um, but you're, you're just not... Maybe some of you know, but I feel like some of you don't really know that, okay? They could have children with this person. There is a page of wands there, all right? So let's see what else we got here. Sachi, no, no. Sorry, guys. She's she's like looking like I'm going to get that microphone. And believe me, she will jump straight like claws into my chest. <laughs> what else do we have here? Please for Virgo. Abundance. Ooh, Virgo, you got money coming your way. Keep a positive mindset. Gratitude, bliss. Manifest exactly what you want. Self-indulgence addiction mm -hmm. the grim reaper the relationship is over there are no second chances grow and transform your life okay the relationship's over we have addiction codependent obsession possession controlling has a block or restraint remember we talked about this wheel of fortune being a block right something's not moving forward because this person is keeping some sort of secret from you okay maybe they have a codependent relationship with somebody from their past um, and they just they can't figure out what they really want or how they're going to move forward from that so I think if those of you know that they are dealing with another person it's like they won't make up their mind so you kind of have to make up your mind for this person I think in the future there will there's going to be some arguments okay over the other person um, for some of you, you might not know that they are still connected to somebody and that's why it's like they play a game with you, right? Like they come around, it's like they play girlfriend or boyfriend with you, but then, you know, at the end of the day, it's like, why are we not doing this? They kind of maybe have some excuses or things that they keep telling you, well, because of this or because of that. For others of you, I think you already know that they have some weird, you know, issues with an ex, okay? And they could have kids with this person. There could also just literally be addictions. Self-indulgence, focus on self-work, worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. Ouch, Sachi, come on. No, that's all your nails, girl, damn. Okay, so I feel like there's a... Okay, so self-worth, number one, okay? Know your worth. If somebody doesn't have 100% to give to you, time to move on, right, Virgo? Because we're not playing that, not today. I kind of see Virgo a lot as like Leo, like you poor little analyzers. I love the living crap out of you. Um, and you're also, I, I feel that you guys can be like us. Um, sometimes depends a lot of leos we can tend to give people a lot of chances you know what i mean especially if it's just eh, it's convenient or whatever but you know we get to i think everybody at some point really gets to work on their appreciation of themselves and their self-worth knowing what's best for them um, and not settling for anything less especially confused people that have um, other things in the way stop um but I do feel the self-indulgence is also with this person. Like they're kind of having their cake and eating it, eating it too with you. And then you have abundance. Just remain in the spirit of gratitude regardless. And I think you guys are kind of like that anyway. You know, just being uh, grateful 
anyway for the experience but I do feel like some of you have like a money that's coming to you too I know it's totally off topic but I gotta say it this cat I swear she's just like let me on the table all right so this is what I have for you guys thank you so much for being here if any of this resonated for you at all please show your girl some love by smashing the love button commenting down below and subscribing I'll see you later guys bye Virgo